Okay guys, there is a very real danger in Mexico about every two feet and it's not talked about and I haven't seen any other videos talking about it. That danger is... Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit of Mexico City and then we're going to talk a little bit more about what that danger is and how you can protect yourself. So stick around because you're going to want to know this. Super important and this is the only video that I'm aware of that talks about this danger and it's everywhere. So I'm in the park in the center of Mexico City. So this is the center park in downtown in the center of the historic district of Mexico City and they often have bands and entertainment here at different times of the day and the evening. that I wanted to go to is actually closed right now. <laughs> of course, right? As in any city, there's a Starbucks coffee. <laughs> and they actually have a very good transit system. Very clean, very efficient, and very affordable. And you can get to all the attractions by bus and train. I'm trying to find the entrance. I'm walking around the building. <laughs> you really need to pay attention to your feet in this city because there are open manholes and everything everywhere. It's crazy. <laughs> but I think I found, you know, if you get lost or whatever, people are very willing to help you. And, you know, it doesn't take long to get your bearings. A couple of days. Originally, this was supposed to be the grand entrance to a big parliament palace, but the palace was never actually built. I'm not exactly sure why they have this all blocked off all around the bottom. Maybe it's because they want to sell tickets, so you can't actually get in and look around at all unless you buy a ticket. At least it appears that way. <laughs> um, but I don't feel like buying a ticket. Um, not that interested in this particular site. They're doing some construction over here beside the monument. I've never seen anything like that. Where they've got like the pulleys and uh, not the pulleys but the automated elevators on the outside of the building. That's really interesting. Up here they have a really cool looking restaurant. A lot of dogs running around. I like dogs, but from a distance, and especially dogs I don't know, and if they're stray and they just run around, kind of freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's actually really cool. They've made steps and tiles out of lava rock. And there's actually a volcano that you can climb. But I didn't go on that tour because I had surgery about 13 weeks ago and that just didn't feel like a good option because <laughs> you can't just call an Uber and go home if you feel like it once you get out there. 
This is pretty incredible, you guys. This whole thing was built and carved out of lava rock. And it looks like they actually painted it after they did it, but it's all lava rock. It would be really beautiful if they didn't have this graffiti giant metal wall around it. it really takes away from the beauty and the history of the building. It's really unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I just wore my slippers that I've been wearing ever since I had <laughs> cancer and went into surgery and was in the hospital. I literally wore them to Mexico, which is probably, you know, not the best thing. They're definitely not walking shoes, but I was going to buy some shoes when I got here and I've been finding it extremely difficult to find shoes. And when I have found shoes, um, they don't fit well or they're really um, too brightly decorated for my taste. <laughs> They love bright colors here in Mexico. I love bright colors too, but not on my feet. Okay, I had to sit down because I've been walking for probably I'm gonna guess like 40 minutes, which is really good for me. <laughs> so they have these little benches here where you can sit down underneath trees. So I'm just gonna sit here and feel better and then continue on to Avenida Paseo de la Reforma. Yeah, then I'm going to my next site. <laughs> I think it's really interesting that we find these astrological signs everywhere in the world in all cultures. It's pretty cool. It's got a cornucopia with coins pouring out of it. Okay, you guys, I gotta tell you something. There is actually a very legitimate danger everywhere in Mexico. And it's not what you would expect. It's the danger of tripping and falling because you cannot walk two steps anywhere in this city on a flat surface. There's always a tile sticking up or a piece of metal or, you know, um, a lava block or whatever. I mean, seriously, I have constantly tripped over things, stubbed my toes and things like that, and I've been paying attention. So you could seriously get injured here. I would advise really good walking shoes with maybe steel toes and travel health insurance. Um, I didn't buy any travel health insurance yet, but I'm going to because I'm going to be here for another, I think it's 12 days. So I'm going to use wings because I feel that's the best one and I'll put the link in the description below. I'm not kidding you guys. This is literally everywhere including the sidewalks. You will literally trip, stub your toe, and possibly get seriously injured at some point. Ow, ow, I stubbed my toe for the third time, and this time it really hurts. It's been hurting for like four minutes. I hope I didn't break my toe. I'm just gonna sit here until my toe stops hurting. If it doesn't stop hurting, I... Well, I hope I didn't sprain it or break it because I still have 12 days here and I wanted to look around. My toe's feeling better, you guys. 
after like 10 minutes. <laughs> Um, I just discovered that the tour buses only run Monday through Friday, so that's good to know. And I'm heading over to one of the major museums right now. This is actually a really beautiful park. There's actually an old organ grinder right out here, um, outside of this historical building, which is really incredible. It just makes you think about the old days, you know. I'm surprised there's no monkey out there with a tin for tips. So I'm headed into the center of the park where they have a really big beautiful fountain and some statues. This is really a historical city and the as I said before, the streets <laughs> and the sidewalks are very historical, so you really, really have to watch your step. The center of the park, though, seems somewhat smooth compared to the rest of the city that I've experienced anyway. Okay, once again, <laughs> we're at one of the historical monuments and it's surrounded by a hideous blue metal wall with graffiti all over it. Um, maybe they do that to protect the monument, but it just really takes away from why people come here to the city in the first place, which is to see these things. This museum was built in 1904, before the revolution, and features huge murals done by various artists. Okay, you guys, this is really an incredible view right here. graduation going on over here. Proud graduates getting their photos taken in front of the museum. It's really pretty in here.
So it looks like they're getting ready for a protest. And honestly, I'd just rather go back to the hostel right now because I'm hungry, thirsty, and getting crampy from pushing my body a little bit too far too soon. So I'm gonna see if I can head back to the hostel. So I'm not exactly sure what kind of protest this is that they're getting ready to do. But I don't want to be in the middle of it. <laughs> Everybody is so friendly here. Most people are so friendly here. You don't get the occasional one that doesn't want to speak to you, but uh, the majority. Oh my gosh, you guys, they've got coconuts over here. Like, literally fresh coconuts. That is so wild. Coconut milk and coconuts. I can't get over that. You can go, it's okay. 